What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with Me, A.B. Now, that's right, listen, your eyes didn't deceive you. You read the title, you didn't seen that thumbnail. Today's video, I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make. Listen, this is just a braised beef short rib video. And guess what, folks? It's sponsored by Porter Road. Let's get it. Okay, so look, first thing you see when you open up the box, look, I like this right here. Look, they got a nice little welcome card. If I open it up, you guys get to see. They got some key points in here. Listen, this is nice, folks. Okay, so let's open it up. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Okay, so look, look at the way it's packed. I can see they got ice packs. This is nice. Ah, okay, here we go. Now we get down to the meat and potato. Now I said, look, let's go ahead and look at the star. They just happen to have this on the top right here. Look, boneless short ribs. Let's take a look. All right, it's vacuum sealed. I like this right here. Ooh, tri-tip. Now, I don't know if they showing out or not, but you know, you guys know that I'm from California. You know where tri-tip come from. This is come from up north. This is like really, I call this the California cut. Everybody out here has this. Let me go ahead and get the rest of these meats out, you know, and then uh, let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, folks, come on in here and take a look at this star, right? These are our short ribs, beef, of course. I want you guys, you can see through the plastic back here that, listen, you can see that this high quality meat, right? You can see the flavor in there. If I turn it over here on this side, look, they got the name, got the weight. Now, I'm getting ready to explain to you who Porter Road is. Porter Road, they're an online butcher. Listen, delivering high quality meats to your doorstep. That's, hey, listen to that. I said to your doorstep, folks. In today's, you know, world, we don't have the time. Listen, we don't have time to go and run and do all that, you know, looking and picking and trying to choose like that. Why not? go online, make a couple of clicks, and then have it delivered to your doorstep. And I can tell you this, it's hard to find this type of quality at your local grocery store. For me, I'm gonna start off with, you know, doing bacon to start my flavor, right? Now, since we're doing beef, check this out. We got uncured beef bacon. This is just a regular bacon. This will be on the pork side, but we're gonna use this, especially for all my people that don't do the pork. So this right here is gonna be the awesome combination. Now, if you look over here, you can see, look, the oxtails. I just wanna turn this over so you guys can take a look at it. Listen, when I tell you premium meats, that's what I mean. Everything that you see right here will be videos, folks, so stay tuned. What I'm gonna do now is, hey, did I mention earlier that these are, this is thick cut bacon? Look at this right here, thick cut beef, especially for everybody that asked me, are there any, you know, alternatives? Well, here you go, folks. Okay, so got the bottom of the Dutch oven, it's going, right? Go ahead and drop this in. I wish I could tell you I want you guys to smell the aroma, right? But listen, if you just move this around here, for those of you guys that never had beef bacon, you're not doing pork, this right here is it, folks. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so this is about as far down you want it to go. But I want you guys to notice all of the marbling that was on the, uh, on the bacon. Now look at it. You see it rendered down a lot of fat. This right here is all your favorite, folks. So what I'm doing is now, I just turn my fire off. I'm gonna go ahead and get my tongs, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out and put it in a, a bowl. Okay, so look, I want you guys to take a look at this. When I talk about the quality of the meat, you should be able to see this right off at the back, right? So I'll just take it like this. And remember, it's boneless, right? So what we're gonna do is we just wanna get it, we wanna brown it. So when we brown, we wanna brown on all sides. So let me get this cleaned up, and then we're gonna go ahead and put it in there. Meanwhile, my oil is coming up to temp, that was my fat from my bacon, right? If you need more, you can add more, but that right there, that's the flavor, folks. Step one. They work with trusted local farmers who raise animals the right way, humanely on pasture with no added hormones or antibiotics. They dry age all beef for 14 days and hand cut steak and chop to produce cuts you won't find at the grocery store. Shop like you would at a local butcher by ordering items a la carte. They also offer subscriptions. Steaks and chops arrive fresh and never frozen. Place your order and get 15% off of your first order. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire off. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys can take a look at that right there. Look at that, brown just right. Now, what we gotta do is we gotta mix some other stuff up, because when we put it in the oven, that's when we are gonna get it to be tender, right? So we'll just start adding this over here. You wanna get yourself a bowl. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you guys are probably asking like why I didn't cut them down. Why, because you see how simple this was now? When they this size, makes it easier. If you wanna cut them down, now you cut them down. I got it, when you cut them in half, they won't have that, you know, brown on there, but it's okay. I won't cut mine down until after they become so soft. Actually, I'll take two forks and just 
Oh, you guys got the message. Okay, so look, I got all of my juices. This is all of my fat, right? I got that coming back up to temp. It's just now giving me a puff of smoke. I know it's right. So listen, I always start with my onions, right? I always give them a head start because we're going to do onions and we're going to do garlic. I'm just going to let these roll for about, I'm going to say about three minutes. And after that, I'm going to take another minute and then I'm going to go ahead and do the, the garlic. You see this down there? The onion, the acidity in the onion, that's what's going to get all of that off. But right now, I just want to get everything coated because this is all of our flavor, folks. So now, when we move this across like this, just moving this around, look at that. That right there released a lot of flavor, right? We just move this, all of this fine that's on the bottom of here just comes right off. Got that going, now it's time to go ahead and load up the press. I like my big press because I like to, you can do multiple, you know, cloves at a time, right? So, too bad you guys are not gonna be able to see my face because I promise you this puts a grin on mine. So look, you see this right here? Look at that right there. Ah. Now we cooking, folks. Now, I'm only gonna let this stay on here for just, we just gonna move this around for about one minute just until it becomes flagrant. It only takes a minute. I can already, you know, smell it, but look at them onions right there. It's absorbed all of that beef flavor, that, you know, the beef from the bacon and the short ribs. We, it's time to go ahead and start adding this back, right? This is the star, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and add this, cause look, this is the flavor. This is what come off. We want it all in there. We want it to be over the top, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my stock. We, can you guys, you should be able to mentally understand what's going on. And again, when you start with premium, high quality meat, just look at that. It even changed the way it looked when we were browning, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of this on here. I'm gonna get it all mixed up. I know we putting it on there like that. No worries, folks. Now we're gonna let everything come back up to a boil. But no worry, we just move it around. Cause look, this is the process. Once that oven comes up to temp, this is how we get it nice and soft. It's gonna pull apart. We're gonna be able to just, you know, take two forks and just shred it real nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my carrots. We're gonna come with the, the dried mushrooms. Don't worry, it's gonna all make sense in just one second. Now we just did our red wine. Now they not, they not super soft yet, so it'll take a stir, right? Right now we just getting everything mixed so we can get them flavors. Right on, you know, we want everything to marry together. Hey, and it's real important that since we're using dry mushrooms, right, you want to make sure that it's in the liquid, you know, because when you get done with that, it's going to be real nice. As I'm pushing it, it's starting to absorb it already, and you could, it just, it's just a difference, folks. You know what I mean? You can just start feeling it get soft. Now, don't forget, we got the, this is beef. I'm going to give it about three pinches of salt, right? And then we're gonna come with a little bit of this fresh cracked black pepper. Now don't forget, we have some bacon, right? The bacon got a purpose too. For me, I like to add it, you know, once I go back in there and we thicken up this, you know, our gravy. Now that I can see it starting to boil back, right? I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna put my lid on the top. I'm finna go in the oven. Don't forget, we had 350 degrees and we are gonna go for about two and a half hours. Okay, so I just pulled it out, right? It's been a couple of hours. Let's take a look at it right now. Ah, yeah, that's it. Now I can tell you right now, it's probably fork tender. Let me just go ahead and grab myself a fork. Look, you guys watch this right here. I just hit it right here. Ah, yeah, yeah, it, ah, yeah. This is it, it'll shred just right. You don't want it to be like super, super, like tear up, like overcooked stew, stew meat, but this right here, this is it. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to the liquid that's in here. I'm gonna go ahead and call that that gravy. Now don't forget we had some uh, cornstarch left over, right? For all of my people that follow me, you know when we do them, uh, 
that peach cobbler, we make a slurry. Same principle here. We just finna thicken up. So now I'm gonna take our cornstarch and add this, right? I'm just gonna go with equal parts water. And listen, I don't know if it really makes a difference, but I was raised to do it this way. It's gotta be cold water. If you guys know, educate me down in the comment section below. Okay, so I already mixed up my slurry, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and try to keep them from falling apart, right? I just set them over here. You guys can take them out. It's up to you how you wanna do it, but you'll see why I'm doing this. Cause listen, when we put the slurry in the inside, we want this to, oh man. I just so wanted like to get a piece of this right now. Look at that right there. Oh. Tell me is your mouth water. Go ahead and take the slurry and look, just add it in here just like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and just give this a, just a, a cool little mix here. Then you can like move these over. Oh yeah, look at that, look at this. You see this faster? Look, you wanna know, I know the question is, is it really soft and ready to go? Yes sir. Look at these mushrooms, hoo wee. Hey, for those of you guys that love their mushrooms, Tell me, talk to me down in the comment section below. We just give it a mix, don't worry, because we're gonna let the heat of the oven. We going back inside the oven, right? Just for about another 20, 30 minutes, just so that it's thicken up real nice. Now, ask yourself this, how are we gonna serve these? We gonna put this over mashed potatoes, or are we gonna put this over some rice? You guys let me know. Let me go back in, and remember, set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at it after 30 minutes. I went ahead and went a little bit longer just to ensure that we got a nice little thickness, right? We just move this around like this. Oh yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Ooh wee. Look at that folks. I hope you guys, I hope everything is working. The signals from the brain and all of that. Listen, I can't wait to get in here. Now, remember I told you this fork tender. We don't need to cut this or nothing like that, right? So check it out, this is what I'm gonna do. Let me get myself two forks. And I just wanna show you guys, this right here is gonna be key. If you take a look, look at this. You ready? Look, a little bit of no resistance. Look at that right there. Ah, uh, yeah. Man, you see that right there? Ooh wee. That right there, that's it. Now, let me go ahead and put some on this, these mashed potatoes, and then we gonna go from there. Just go ahead and grab it like this. You know, and we just put some right there, you know? And then we'll go ahead and just get one more piece. You want to talk about a hearty meal? Look at that right there. Ooh, wait. Now, wait. I ain't, I ain't done with it. And we want to get a little bit of that carrot, too. And we just want to put a little bit of this around it. Oh, my God. Look at that right there, folks. Tell me what you think. That right there. Hmm. Okay, so remember what I told you guys? I said the bacon, it ain't, we, we not done with it. Look, since we started out, we, we already like took away from it, you know, and got a little flavor to jumpstart it, right? But I'ma just add me a little bit because I like to get a little bit of this bacon. And I'm not really showing y'all, but I've been knocking off this bacon, you know, chewing it as like a little snack. You know, beef bacon works great. Now, I'ma just take it, garnish it with just a little bit of green. And I want you guys to tell me if you want to try something like this. Ooh wee. Okay folks, listen, I've been having a hard time mouth drooling, making a whole bunch of water in my mouth and all of that. Hey look, I'm gonna get down, that's all I can tell you. Oh man, I got the gravy right. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of this, this carrot. A little bit of that meat. Look, and you can see a little bit of that bacon. All I can say to you guys is, cheers. Oh, man, the meat was done just right. Hey, listen, all of the flavors. You wanna talk about quality meat? But just in case it was a fluke, we going back in. Mm. Now hold on. Man, this is fire. 
Listen, I'm going to tell you and describe it like this, my whole experience. Listen, anytime you can get quality meats delivered to your door, you know what I mean? That just leveled you up right off the bat, right? And then when you make a recipe like this and you get to the end result, quality meat plus a great recipe is just like the ultimate level up. Hey, with that being said, don't forget you guys get 15% off of your first order. Now, you saw this bacon, I'm finna load mine up. I'm finna load it up with everything. Oh, and let me just address this part. You saw those other meats, don't trip. We finna cook, folks, so you know we got all kind of things coming. Now, with that being said, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey, I can't help but laugh, you know why? Because I got some gooey meat, and I'm out, folks. Cheers and peace.